Fishy. Look at that fishy jumping up there. Oh wow, that was a high jump too. Holy cow. Yes, folks, we are playing a dark romance, the Swan Sonata. We're going to play the bonus chapter right after we watch Mr. Nemo do some stunts. Oh, and the swan? Oh, that's all you do? Fine, be that way. We're going to go in here and jump right into Mermaid Heaven. I mean, the bonus chapter. Ferdinand, my love, is that you? I've been waiting for you. Come where I can see you, Rebecca. Don't be afraid. I can't. Let's just talk as we always have. Okay, my dear. <laughs> We're the mermaid. So... Mermaid, you suffer because of love. <laughs> I saw you talking to Ferdinand. You think your tail may scare him? Well, I can help. I'll give you legs in exchange for your voice. She's naked. We're the mermaid! Well, we're not a mermaid anymore. Because we got naked legs. Alright, should we not be like Terminator and go find some clothes right away? Feeling like that's necessary. Or should we just go and look for random stuff? We need some fig leaves or something to cover ourselves up. Hedgehogs apparently like mushrooms. I think a branch belongs in the knot hole. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I want your pants, and I want your jacket, and I want your sunglasses. <laughs> oh, come on. All they did was show her her skin and legs and stuff. Oh, am I not, not supposed to notice that? <gasps> nice toes, too. Nice petty on there. Uh, I better put some clothes. Oh, I damn naked! I told you! You guys didn't even believe me. <laughs> I need some fig leaves. Quick. Stat. <laughs> I want your pants and I want your jacket. We're gonna be Terminator. Uh, la 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 la. I don't want to go too far into the, the bush here because someone's gonna see us. I can't go any further without clothes! Oh no, whatever shall we do? We're in trouble. Hopefully nobody stops by and goes fishing. Beautiful stranger, I ask you to push all your fears and deaths away. Please, we must meet to determine our fate. Wrap ourselves up in some bushes. Oh, I don't think the hedgehog would make for very good clothes. It could be a nude beach. That's possible. <laughs> Look at this little buddy in here. Everybody's singing songs in here. I could crack those nuts. A key. I bet you this is going to be our clothes, though. A <laughs> crowbar bikini? I'm not even sure what that means. Well, I mean, I know what it means, but... Uh, I'm kind of stuck here. I don't know where you are. Oh, okay. Well, let's do this. Cheese for who? Who wants the cheese? The mousy does. I now have myself chalk. And I have tongs. Squirrel would like to have a nut, please. And now I have chalk. I still have chalk. Hammer handle. 
Hmm. Skizzers. Hedgehogs like mushrooms, don't forget. I do have the handle. And now I have a hammer. Oh, birdie, you're so chipper, aren't you? Hmm, a baler. Apparently that's gonna work. Mr. Hedgehog, enjoy your mushrooms. Now we have a needle. Mr. Fox. We're gonna make a dress out of this fabric. All right, finally we're gonna get some clothes. How lucky for us. Good thing we know how to do this. Otherwise we'd be in trouble. I bet you it's gonna be gorgeous. Ooh, it's gonna look like that too. It's gonna be lovely. Oh, Mr. Bird, you're so chipper. Oh, I see, hammer time. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, what happened there? Why did it go quiet all of a sudden? Mr. Fox. Oh, there it is there. Now I got it. Let's do it. He wants to be my buddy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, what? That raccoon is awesome! The raccoon just made us a dress. What? I saw it. I'm pretty sure that you folks were watching. <laughs> raccoon, you. High five to you, buddy. High five. Well, well done. Thank you. I guess we don't need a bra. This'll do. It's better than being naked, right? No more time with the nudist colony here. Let's move. That's a beautiful one. Yeah, well done, raccoon. You're hired. It's too deep to get it with my uh, bare hands. I'll take that, I'll take that. I'll take that sickle. Looks like we're gonna be collecting some resin, some maple syrup maybe? And there should be a flag there, which we don't have. There is another one of our collectibles. Let's see. That was Ferdinand, I think. Yep. See, we're playing this character right now. Get out of there, Ferdinand. Nobody loves you. Get out of there. I'm trying to see other people. Oh, there we are. This is who we're playing. Becca. Hi, Becca. Yeah, she's wearing magic underwear. It's all good. <laughs> uh, I need to clear this foliage. We do, do we? I think the dress very much has pockets. Oh wait, am I supposed to put this here? Maybe? No. That looks like an interesting puzzle. Only those with goods for the castles and inhabitants are allowed to enter. Knock, knock, knock. Come in if you have anything for the castle's inhabitants. If not, then leave. But, 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 I... I need to find a way into this city. A flag handle. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess that's not the way we're going to... Oh, maybe a harpoon will do it. Look at how good we are. We just harpoon that flag. <laughs> we're so good. Now we have a flag. And now we have a flower. No, this is not where this flower goes. It goes over here, doesn't it? Maybe. Or not. Hmm. Well, let's go back to the very beginning then. 
Aha! Okay. Information, please. Arrange the items to match the hint in the upper left. Oh, oof, more rotating nonsense here. Um, not sure I'm too keen on this puzzle. I don't know. Hmm. Wow, that's really close to being done. Looks like we're supposed to have that over there. And that's got to be in the middle somehow. Uh, how am I going to do that? Let me see here. Need to get this one here. Wow, why'd the music get so scary all of a sudden? Mm, not quite there yet. Now it has to get to the middle. Uh, okay, that worked. Sort of. We're so close. This is a pretty tough puzzle. Uh, hmm. How in the world am I going to do this? The problem is, is when I do that. Wow, super close there. Close enough for me. <laughs> I'm not a fan of those puzzles either. Rotatey bits. It's all good. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to get him a lovely mushroom. So I have a key now. Hmm. I don't, oh, I think we can use this, can't we? Maybe? There we are. Now we're in business. Let's go to the little house. Oh, <gasps> look at the statue. There you go, lovely. <laughs> she just threw me a key. A statue. Whoa, whoa, get out of there. That looks like a crazy puzzle. I want to talk to the man. Never in my life have I seen a mermaid with legs. <laughs> but you gave up your voice in exchange, didn't you? How does he know we're a mermaid? Well, don't be afraid. I can help you into the castle. But I'll need your help in exchange. The mysteries hidden from me are revealed to you. Please, please make me this potion. I guess I can go to work for you. Will you make me another dress like Mr. Raccoon did? Because he was awesome. I got glitter. Where is his horn? I'm just going to steal your stuff, okay? I have already seen a key like this somewhere. Look at you, beautiful mermaid. Let's do it. Glitter time. Gonna go ahead and do all of that click and clack. Click and click. Oh, we're gonna make clean up a mess over here. Clean up an aisle one. Now, what else do we need? 
not sure what I'm looking for here. Ah, there we go. Got it! Horn of Plenty! I've got quite a bit of inventory in here now. So I now have one of the two buttons and a bottle. Mushrooms! Oh, guess who wants mushrooms? Our buddy Sonic over here would like to have some of these. There you go, my friend. <laughs> we just threw it on his back so he can like carry it around everywhere. Clever. Very clever. I thought that said clever potion, but it says clover potion. Clever clover potion. So, let's clear that out of there, no? Spoon? None of the above. Uh, what am I doing here? Good question, game. Apparently we're ready for this. Oh, we have the mermaid token. Oh my lord. What in the world are we doing here? Is it really this straightforward? Nope. Oh, I see there's thorns and stuff. Ah. Uh, Oh, don't touch the thorns, my dear. Up, up, up you go. We're gonna ha meet your handsome man. And we get a rake. Is that rake gonna be for our leaves here? Yep. It won't work without a potion. Good thing we have a clever clover potion. I am a mermaid. We are a mermaid. We are a mermaid who has decided for the sake of love to give up her voice so we can have human legs. Remember the leprechaun in the, the main game? He wanted a clover too. Oh. He actually doesn't want a clover. I need one of these statues in, in my room. I don't know. My, my studio. My new studio. I'm gonna have maybe a giant mermaid statue in the corner. I think that's a great idea. I'll commission a famous artist to do that for me, you know what I mean? Spoon? Yeah, it would be expensive and totally worth it, too. Okay, so there's my jar. Ah, clover, some of that, and a couple something or others. Put you in there. Kind of confused where you want me to put this stuff, game. Apparently nowhere. That'll have to do for now. Let's go back this way. Oh, the bottle stand first? Okay, thank you. It wants it to be that way, does it? Come on, get in there. Clover, why? Why are you failing on me now? Never mind. Well, this disc's gonna go right there. Gather up all our bits. Apparently that goes in there. <laughs> what have we done? We took solids and we made a gas. How in the heck did we just do that? We're so good. Let's go give it to the man. Oh, wonderful creature. <laughs> this miraculous elixir can heal people's illnesses and their woes. And it will restore my health too. Now, Take this basket, fill it with forest apples. The guard will let you in with such delicacies. <laughs> I don't think this is 